Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict here again, uh, doing episode two, if you will, with uh, Pat Milligan here at the St. Louis Area Power Strokes event on his 1996 F-250. He's going to kind of go in depth with us on the modifications he's done to it to make it his own truck. So he's going to give us, you know, wheels and tires and kind of everything he's done to it thus far. So kind of tell us a little bit about why it's why this is unique to you and what you've done and kind of your, your step processing of what you went through on it. Well, my thought was whenever I, I work on something, if I have something that breaks, I go better. So I don't put it back together stock. So anytime <laughs> I needed to replace something, I found something better to replace it with. I mean, that, that, that's, that's pretty much the staple of, I, I think, our passion and our hobby is, I mean, we can't ever leave anything, we can't ever leave anything stock. I mean, that, what's, the, what's the fun in that, no, right? No. So, I know you've got the reverse shackle kit on here. Yes. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's the PMF kit, correct? Yes, um, you've done uh, the Super Duty axles, 90, 99 to 04, correct? Yeah, they're 01 axles. They're 01 axles. Um, when you did that, uh, obviously you did both both front and rear, so you'd have the correct lug pattern and all that. Uh, what size lift is on this truck? What size are the tires, wheels, and all that kind of stuff? It's a two inch PMF, and then I used Super Duty U code springs, which are the excursion springs on the front. And then I think they're B codes, they're one tons with the overloads on the back. That's so, and, and I know this truck sits almost dead level yes. when, when it's sitting in the parking lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a video of that later. Um, so the stamps worked out just about perfect on it. And I know you added the fender flares to kind of cover for the mud tires. Kind of kind of give us a little bit on. Oh, they're 20 by nine fuel wheels. Uh, the offset backspace, I'm not sure on, but they're 35, 12, five uh, mud tires. Well, they, they tuck in the fender wheel nice on this truck and you know, give it a, give it its unique look. Um, but the thing that a lot of people are always commenting on on your truck is obviously the lightning badge on it, so. Well, yeah, that's a lot of things. Everybody thinks that I put stickers on the bed. It, it, it wasn't that way. The bed that was on this truck, uh, I got in an accident with a trailer and crushed a bedside. So I just happened to be searching around Craigslist and I found this bed, you know, two hours away from home for 50 bucks. And it was already black. From it was already truck. black, came with the tailgate, you know. So you paid $50 for a lightning bed yes. with, and these are factory from Ford lightning stickers on yes, the sir. truck. Too. And, it, and that in itself makes it unique. I know you've, uh, you know, you've, You've done quite a bit over the years to, to make it unique, uh, i.e. the, the uh, clear headlights in it. And then I noticed riding over here, you've got a gauge, gauge pod on the dash. You've got the, the A-pillar gauge pod. What are some other modifications that you've done to the truck, you know, seeing those in there? Well, first of all, you mentioned the gauge pod on the dash. You know, I, I wanted to sit down in a little well in there, and I found it was for a Honda. You know, it was the only thing I could find with a flat bottom and angled it towards me. So, you know what, I got some tuning parts on here. <laughs> and then I run like typical everybody else. I've got an EGT, I've got uh, Boost, and Transdown. They're the three that I run on the, on the, on the dash. What, uh, what kind of mods do you have on the engine that you're paying attention to? Like what size injectors and all that? Or? I've got 180cc full force injectors in there. Um, I've got a uh, Stealth SRP11 pump. Those are hard to get. Yeah, well, actually, I won that. Uh, seven or eight years ago at the rally here. here at the rally. Know, they had it as a, as a raffle item. I want it, so I put it on it. That's what started the performance mod on the truck. <laughs> it just kind of kind of grows from there. Yes. So, I mean, beautiful truck. There's Every time it goes anywhere, it gets quite a few compliments. You know, crew cab short bid for wheel drive. I mean, that's like the truck that people want. Um, my personal favorite's got an automatic in it, it's standard, but it is what it is there. Um, so, Again, we really appreciate you coming out and showing us the truck, kind of talking about the truck, some of the mods you've done to it. So thank you. thanks again for coming thank out. You. As always, guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any videos that we should do or any trucks we should look at, please email them in to info at CP Attic. And please don't forget to comment on the video. Thanks.